Hey, sweet. I'm Sydney. So you just finished directing your first feature film. That's yeah. incredible. Tell me a little bit about that and what it was like. Yeah, uh, I co-directed it with um, my one of my best friends, Billy Brick, and um, wrote it with him and produced it with him. We're also in it. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a comedy slasher film set at a summer camp. Um, and Fred Heckinger plays the main character of Jason, who's kind of this old, this too old to be their summer camp counselor. It comes back and people start getting murdered. So, Fun. Yeah. Typical summer camp yeah, experience. Typical rand- yeah, exactly. I love it. Yeah. Um, now, what have you learned about directing through this process and how does it contrast to acting? Oh, they're completely different. Um, well, actually, I mean, in some way, it was cool being able to. I was in the movie as well that I directed, so it was easy kind of to do both. Or not easy, it was very the hardest thing I've ever probably done in my whole life, but I mean, it was easy to kind of transition between the two. Um, but through this movie, I don't know, I, I think I think you just really have to understand what you're making um, and um, really appreciate the actors and every single crew member there. Um, make them feel a part of it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ben. It's so, so nice to meet you. What was it like adapting this story into for new audiences? Well, it, 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 it is uh, more than an adaptation. It's like a very free uh, play with the ideas. So we take the ba- basics of uh, the regular Pinocchio and we turn them a little bit on their head. I love it. Now, you have this vision, this concept of Geppetto losing his son, all these things. Where did these ideas come from? And what's it like to see them developed into the final piece? You know, the first time I met with Grace Grimley where he designed Pinocchio, I asked him... Um, why is Pinocchio looking like that? And he said, uh, Geppetto was drunk. <laughs> and then we started talking, and I, th- I thought, he's drunk because he lost uh, a son and wants to replace it, which uh, seems like the logical thing. And uh, that gave us the idea to have then uh, be Geppetto that learns the lesson to be a good father. I love it. Now, what is it like to work with the stop motion? Stop motion is extremely difficult. It uh, requires patience from everyone. It takes a thousand days to shoot a movie instead of a live action movie that takes 70, 80 days. But uh, it needs a lot of concentration. That, that's why I think it's really good that there were two directors, Mark and I. Thank you so much. It's My such a pleasure. pleasure. Same here. Thank Pinocchio you. is a tale as old as time. What was the process like in adapting it for this new audience and this new aspect of animation? Um, well, Guillermo had his sort of take on it that he pitched to me. And so um, based on that, we wrote like 20 pages back and forth kind of trying to find what the story was all about once we had a script we reworked everything over and over again until it felt like it worked what was Guillermo's pitch like and how does it differ from the final product well his original pitch is in there so uh, basically um, Geppetto loses his son and he's trying to replace him with this uh, wacky puppet that he made and it, he just doesn't fit that mold. And so that's like a really strong kind of character uh, dynamic to me. And so that was uh, a pretty exciting thing to explore throughout. And then really it becomes Geppetto's lesson that he has to learn to accept this, this puppet, this boy for who he is. You know. What's it like to see the final product all created and together? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, the, the amount of talent that that flocked to this movie was like insane so yeah I mean the the life that was brought to these these mod, these puppets and everything is incredible thank you so much so now you're going perfect so walk me through the process of fabrication of it. oh have you got like two years oh maybe <laughs> well to make the puppets we start sort of with character designs and then the character designs which are two dimensional are translated into 3D um, and that is through sculptors sculpting maquettes and at that point we then have this brainstorm how do we turn that maquette into a fully functioning animatable puppet so we bring a whole group of amazing talented artists engineers and craftspeople together and we sculpt it we mould it we make the armature, the skeleton that goes inside it. We then cast all of the skin around the skeleton. We make tiny little geared head mechanics and put skins onto those. And then we costume it and we paint it. And da-da! I love it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Nice what do you, you. This is a very unique style of film. What about it are you most excited for viewers to see? 
Um, well, I think the artistry should stand out as something that's just really never been done before. It's at a level that um, I think even in the format of stop motion uh, is exceptional. So arguably one of the best assembled stop motion crews in the world, shooting frame by frame, building every single element by hand throughout the film. I think people really respond to just the different type of storytelling in stop motion, which we're very excited about. And I think the, uh, the, the, the kind of opens a whole new world of storytellers, uh, hopefully, at least. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Oh, thank thank you. You.